Hello YouTube, this is Sobriel from Alcar.com and today we will be showing you how to license your PES 2017 fully. Now, as it is widely known, the biggest difference between PES and FIFA are the licenses. Some people even go as far as to say that they would gladly invest their time and money in PES if it at least had the Premier League license. So today we'll show you how to really improve your experience with PES 17. The first thing you want to do is, you want to head over to PESUniverse.com. The link will be provided in the description of this video. And then click on Option Files and select PS4 Option File V2, which is the updated version of the option file that you need and it is completely free and safe to use. You will notice that you have many different leagues and teams you can choose from, so if you don't care about, for example, the Scottish Premiership, you do not have to download it. All these files belong to one option file, but it is completely up to you whether you want the whole deal or just some specific leagues and competitions. After you download the file, put it on a USB stick into a folder called WEPS. Make sure that you do not rename or edit any files, simply move them to the folder you created. Also, it is very important that the USB stick is in the FAT32 format, otherwise the PS4 won't be able to read it. Now let's move over to what you have to do on the PS4. First, open application settings and delete any edit data under PES 17 that you possibly might have. In case you've never made any changes to the game, you can skip this step. Then start up the game and go to Extras and then Edit. Here you will get a screen asking you to create edit data, you're gonna hit OK and then you just gotta wait until the edit data is created. Once that is done, go to Data Management and then go to Import Export and this is the most important part. Hit Import Teams and then simply select all files by pressing the square button and then hit Next. Then you will get to a screen with some detailed settings asking you whether you want to apply player and squad data or if you want to select the team that you want to import data to. You're gonna ignore both of these options and leave them unticked and just hit OK and then wait it all out until all the team bins are imported. When that is done, hit the circle button to go back to the data management screen and make sure to save your progress because the game is known to crash at certain points while importing all the teams. So just to be on the safe side, save any changes you make every now and then because you don't want to start from scratch in case the game crashes. Now we will show you how to do the competition emblems. It is very simple, just go to the import screen again and hit competition emblems and then select the emblems that you want to import. It is important to mention that all these emblems are included in the option file, however the import process does not cover the emblems so it's something you have to do individually. Then go to competition and choose the league whose name and emblem you want to change. Let's try the Premier League as an example. Click on competition name and then just change it from English League to BPL. Simple as that. Then click on emblem and load the imported image in order to change the old one. And that's it. There's no need to go to detail settings etc. This is all you need to do. Changing the emblems could take some time to complete but it's definitely worth it in the end. Let us show you what we really mean when we say that the difference between the unlicensed and the custom licensed game is absolutely huge. Take a look. As you can see, it's like a whole new game, all thanks to the excellent modding community who really did an outstanding job creating the custom option file. Granted, it is a somewhat time consuming process but it really pays off in the end and we strongly recommend that you customize your game with this incredible patch. Anyway guys, that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions about how to download or install the patch properly, please don't hesitate to fire away in the comment section below. We'd be more than happy to help. And as always, please don't forget to head on over to Alcar.com for all the latest gaming news. And of course, thank you very much for watching and please like, comment and subscribe for more content coming very soon. Until next time, goodbye.